On a bitter winter's afternoon, three young boys stumbled on a strange trail of footprints in the wilderness near their village. 11-year-old Yevgeny Anisimov shot this video on his cell phone. Now, with the snow gone, he retraces his steps across the same field. But the footprints made the other boys nervous. Each footprint was around 16 inches long, 6 to 8 inches wide. The boys followed the tracks to a wooded area. And then, about 30 feet up ahead, a strange figure appears among the trees. The boys ran away as fast as they could, apparently terrified by what they had seen. But what is the creature filmed by the boys? Is it really the legendary Yeti? Or might it be some kind of prank? To find out if the video was a genuine recording or if it had been tampered with in any way, we had it examined by forensic investigators who specialize in moving image analysis. There is no indication that the imagery has undergone any form of post-production, either in an editing suite or in some form of photo manipulation package. The creature or figure is present throughout the recording of the imagery and hasn't been added in subsequently. So if the video is a genuine recording, could the subject matter have been faked? 12-year-old Yevgeny Anisimov, who filmed the video, is adamant it isn't a hoax. Yevgeny is an orphan and lives with his grandmother. She believes her grandson and is convinced that the footage is real and not faked. Eventually, his grandmother showed it to a neighbor, whose brother then contacted Dr. Bortsev. After reviewing the footage, he too doesn't believe it's a prank. All my life I study these creatures which are called Yeti or Snowman or Leshy in Russia or Bigfoot in North America. When I saw this boy's video, I felt that it is real Yeti. But other experts are quick to dismiss it as a fake. They claim the footprints are those of an animal. Yeah, I've seen uh, similar footprints like this in crusted snow before, so I'm uh, reasonably convinced that this is likely a, a, mo a moose. The front and the back, those will come down together and create what looks like one large track. Dr. Bortsev claims the snow was soft and not crushed. It was the end of winter. It was dry, powder like snow, like dust. The footprints are going in one line, not two lines. No other animal could leave such things. 
If they are not animal tracks, could it be a man in a suit deliberately trying to create a Yeti sighting? These people, they are rural people. Every day they fight for their life to supply food. It is just fantastic speculation that local people could do such things. I cannot imagine this. I started to study more and more the creature standing there, just a little bend. It was six feet, even more. The same height reported by the boys. Dr. Bortsev was so convinced it was a Yeti, he traveled nearly 2,000 miles to visit the exact location where it was filmed. Here we found uh, some marks of teeth here when Yeti was chewing. This one, it also was scraped. Uh, they look for some insects, something to eat, and they open to, to eat. But other experts point out that a number of local animals eat tree bark in winter and could have made those marks. Things like hares, for example, will strip bark on trees. Rodents also feed on bark. Things like holes, for example, will strip bark, but their teeth marks are very tiny. What I could see on the bark, we're looking at tooth marks that are much larger than any type of roof. And Dr. Bortsev is certain the tooth marks on the tree are also too high up to be made by rodents. So what did make them? 199, two meters height from that point to the ground. But Eugene says that Yeti, he was bent a little when he chewing this, even more maybe than seven feet. A bite mark seven feet above the ground would tie in again with the boy's estimate of the creature's height. And it would also rule out most normal humans. So if the video is not a hoax and it's not a known animal, what exactly is the creature among the trees? At seven feet tall and seemingly covered in hair, could it really be a Yeti?